Welcome back everyone to another uh, vote video thing. Uh, um, I'm sure some of you, as you can see, it's that poll started a few days ago. Some of you have already seen this on my Discord server and some of you have already seen it on uh, the posts, the YouTube posts, which I have uh, done. Anyway, just very, very quickly, as you can see by the title of the video, this is the vote for the next series. I will be uh, running this vote for about a day from when it uploads, so you don't have that long of a time, and afterwards I will immediately start recording whichever of these series is at the top of the votes. So just like last time, in case you do not remember, let's head to our server. Last time we had the vote for a series, right? Oh uh, crap, I just got the wrong thing. Yeah, we had the vote for a series, we had the results. And um, yeah, I basically recorded the first three, which you can find on my channel, in case you missed them. And then there's a few more mods that I want to play before doing what I was uh, famously doing, uh, which I told you guys about, which is to make a big video detailing the most uh, sort of popular Hearts of Iron mods. Their pros, their cons, and uh, how I would rate them, because I play way too much of this game. And yeah, so uh, so far the vote has been going that Red World is winning, with a Quest Chat War following. We also have End of a New Beginning, which is the um, which is the Victorian Age mod. Actually, I've uh, prepared a few pages over here. I will be putting these pages down in the description in case you want to learn more about these mods. So Red World is a mod where the Soviet Union wins the Cold War. It hasn't been updated in a long while, actually, at least on Steam. I might ask if there's like a beta version somewhere that's more updated. Maybe the developer would provide it to me, but yeah, most likely I'd play on this version. There's an update coming, but it's taking a while due to personal problems of the developer. So yeah, that's that. And <laughs> the funny part is that this mod actually has a TV Tropes page, uh, which is kind of hilarious. I'll put that in there. Uh, then there's a Quest Chat War, which is the obviously uh, the mod for My Little Pony, which is actually really fun to play. Um, and yeah, you can see all the information on it. There is a Wikia, fandom Wikia page, and it's actually pretty damn useful to understand kind of what's going on. In case you do not want that, you can just go watch my video, you know, shameless self-promotion. And yeah, this is the Steam page, obviously, very good graphics quality, by the way. And this one has been updated very recently with the 1.3 update that added a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, this is that. Then there's End of a New Beginning, which is the um, mod for the Victorian period that's uh, eventually going to be apparently expanded all the way to the modern times so that you can play throughout, you know, 1920th century. But so far, there's only content up to about the 1860s. A few countries have focus trees, a few do not but it is very much playable. Now, here it says that it hasn't, up, hasn't been updated since the 8th of August, and the 2.0 kind of update, I believe they call it Deus Ex Machina, isn't set to release up uh, until Man the Guns is released, so it won't come out for a while, but in this one, you can download essentially the betas on GitHub, so you can, uh, you can kind of play an in-development version of the mod, so that's what I'll be doing. Then the next one is Hearts of Iron 4 The Great War. I'm sure you all know this one. Just in case you live under a rock, I'll be putting that in the description. Old World Blues, same thing. Now, Old World Blues, I might uh, add, I'm gonna play with a lot of sub mods because they expand the experience quite a bit. So it would not exactly be the vanilla experience, uh, but I'm doing it for variety from my other Old World Blues series, because it is a mod that I've played quite a bit. And um, they are also teasing very heavily a new update, the 0. Point, uh, sorry, the 2.0, which will add Mexico. And um, However, I am pretty sure that it will not be coming out at least this year. So if you guys want to see this one, sure. If 
you know, if it's gonna lose a lot of votes, then maybe, <laughs> maybe by the end when we do get around to record a series on that one, that's gonna be updated. And then there's Road to 50, Road to 56, which I'm sure everyone knows. Um, I'll be trying to see which version would be best to play on this one, but it's quite far down in the votes. You might want to swing it, you might not. So yeah, anyway, um, I want to thank you all for watching, hope you vote, and uh, hope you'll enjoy the series.